You know, I love comics. Since I was 10, I've been reading them. And you know what? My dad, he encouraged it so much, he invested in each of the new covers of the new X-Men series, hoping to put me through college. Well, he probably should have talked to my next guest instead of spending his money there. Walter Duralia, owner of Big B Comics in Hamilton and Overstreet Price Guide Advisor. So, Walt, my investment wasn't so good. Is there such a good thing, or such a thing as a good investment in comics? There is. There's some great investments in comics going on, especially, I'd say, in the last five, ten years. Um, more and more people are actually making, like, real investments in comics. They're treating it like they would uh, investing in a GIC or something. Or like what about like a stock market? I mean, it's got to be rising and falling though. Is there a sound investment? Oh, absolutely. Just like stocks, comics have what they call their blue chip comics. These are comics that are, are tried and true and, and hopefully will go up over the years. We're talking about the first appearance of X-Men, the first appearance of um, Iron Man, the first appearance of the Hulk first appearance of the Fantastic Four, first appearance of Avengers, and first appearance of Spider-Man. Those are all real safe, uh, long-term investments. Right, and so I'm assuming then the first appearances uh, contribute. What, what are some other factors maybe that uh, encourage a sound investment? Right, very good, Marty. First appearances are extremely important. Um, the popularity, so it, it can't, it just isn't a first appearance of anybody. It has to be the first appearance of somebody that's really popular right now. Right. And, and that you have to project it will be popular, sorry, in the future in 10, 15, 20 years. Because if they're popular when you want to sell them, right. that's when you make your yeah, money. Yeah, because the ferret won't be, you know, anything anytime soon because they're not going to make a movie about no, the ferret, right? No, okay. no, you're right, right. you're right. But, but these are all good and um, condition plays a really important role. So when you're buying, uh, everybody's on a budget when they're investing, just like in stocks. Um, but when you're buying, I would always recommend to get the highest grade that you can afford. Right, and, and you're talking grade, like these are all professionally but third-party grades. And I notice your store has the same. Is that encouraged, maybe, in an investment? Well, when you're investing a lot of money into a comic, I strongly recommend that you buy them graded. That way you know exactly what you're getting. The game then is to pick something that um, you can see the popularity of rising over the long term. Right, okay. And, and you're talking about popularity. We all know in the past, like, there was the big Archie uh, crossover. There was the thing with the marriage and everything like that. I mean, hundreds of thousands of these books sold. Are they worth, you know, are, are they a good investment? <laughs> There's two uh, games going on. That's more of a speculative game. The uh, very, like the Archie, when they got married, within a month they were selling for a lot of money, but right. then the kind of um, interest dies down. But what happens is the very first Archie from 1941 mm -hmm. is worth a lot, a lot of money, and it keeps going, uh, growing right. now okay. because the current Archie exposure is, is so much higher. So that's what you got to pick. You got to pick things like that, that something that'll rekindle the interest right. in an old property. So my dad made another bad investment with the Archies, the new Archies. I'm afraid so, Marty. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Well, that's a little bit of a bummer. And so I, I'm guessing that you, because uh, Overstreet, which is like the big, the price uh, book that you know, you helped advise on. This is something that you can kind of get a feel for the market? Absolutely, yeah. You can reference the Overstreet. You can go online. There, there's, there's a lot of places, excuse me, there's a lot of places to go and educate yourself before you make an investment. All right, excellent. And one of the places might be to you. We can ask Walter. Absolutely, sure. For free, maybe? Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. The books may not be free, but the help is. I suggest you contact Walter Durelli at Big B Comics. He can give you a couple investing tips.